everybody, what's up? It's Lexi. And today's look is like, I'm ready for fall, but I don't want it to be fall yet. It's still summer in my mind, so this is what I came up with. I'm not ready to give up my fun, bright, like, clean look for summer. I'm not ready to go into that dark, deep, smoky eye or those dark lips, but I'm somewhere in between. So today I played with lots of purples in my eyeshadow. If you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. I'm going to start out by moisturizing my face with my daily moisturizer. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Prime in the Blur Smooth. At this point, this is when I'm going to look at my skin and see if I want to color correct or not. And today, I don't want to. So I'm just going to go right in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and my Flat Top Brush from BH Cosmetics. Taking a dry sponge, I'm just going to make sure everything is nice and blended out. Next, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I am in the shade Fair. And then I'm taking the Real Techniques, um, came with the eyeshadow kit, just a fluffy brush. I'm going to highlight and conceal. Before I powder anything, I want to use a cream blush today. So today I'm using the NYX Cream Blush in Tea Rose. And I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. And I always go a little up. So I'm going to take my sponge again and I'm just going to blend that in. To set under my eyes, I'm going to use the NYX Color Correcting Powder, the Banana Powder, and a an domed, pointed brush. And I'm only taking a little bit of powder, and I'm just going to pat it. Since I didn't color correct at with concealers, I wanted to make sure that all of my darkness under my eyes is covered. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use NYX's HD Studio Photogenic Powder in Translucent. And I'm going to use a duo fiber, small fluffy brush. And I'm just going to pat. To bring back the warmness to my face, I'm going to use my Hoola bronzer and a fluffy angled brush from EcoTools. And this is just a very light over where I'm going to contour in a minute.
taking a small fluffy brush, I'm just going to do that on my nose. And this usually is where I stop with nose contouring. Next, I'm going to take NYX's Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I have moved the colors around because they are removable. But I'm going to use the light matte shade and the light shimmer shade. Next, I'm going to highlight, and I just recently purchased the best highlighter ever, as said by millions of people. So I purchased the Mary Luminizer from The Balm, and I am in love with it. Using an angled eyeshadow brush from BH Cosmetics and NYX's eyeshadow base in O3. I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. So I'm going to start by going into the BH Cosmetics palette for neutral eyes and I'm going to start with this shimmery gold color right here and using a flat top brush. I'm just going to pat that right on my lid. Taking a fluffy brush, I'm going to come in with my transition color, which I'm going to use this neutral tone right here. And I'm going to put this from crease up. Next, I'm going to come in with this purple shimmer color right here on the same fluffy brush. And I'm going to try to control that more into my crease. Next, I'm going to move to the BH Cosmetics Smoky Eye Palette. And I'm going to use this cranberry purple color down here. I have no clue what the color color, but it's pretty. And I'm just going to put that right in my crease. And taking an eyeshadow brush, blend out that purple color. I'm going to take my Sigma E56 brush and this basically white shadow, and I'm going to apply that to the lid. Lastly, I'm going to take a small domed brush and a like metallic-y gray shadow. I think I like this one the best. So. And I'm going to line under my lower lash line with this. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Cajal eyeliner and a flat brush and I'm going to put it on my waterline and smudge it out. And then using the NYX Gel Liner and Smudger in Jet Black and a liner brush, I'm going to line my upper lash line. And I'm going to go for a very thin but dramatic wing. I'm just going to go back into the smoky eye palette here 
and I'm going to grab this sparkle purple right here and I'm just going to darken up the outer V a little without touching my eyeliner. And then my last step for my eyeshadow is to take the sparkly dark black gray color and just go right above the eyeliner and in the crease. Now applying a very thin coat of mascara because I want the focus to be on the eyeshadow. And the last step is to fill in my brows. To finish off my look, I'm just going to apply NYX's Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. And that is my completed almost fall look.